Yes Kenya Tamu sana tamu sana tamu sana yes It's very rare to find a leader or a politician in Kenya praising another leader in the opposing camp and Cleophas Malala did exactly that yesterday during a live interview Cleophas Malala stated clearly that the only leader or politician in Kenya with a true fanatical following a support that can support him with or without money that leader is Raila Molo Odinga and those remarks by Cleophas Malala have also been quoted by the star star fanatical supporters will follow you without any pay and i think there is only one person who has fanatical supporters in this country that is raila odinga he has diehard supporters because he has built that over some time what is cleophas malala trying to say here because from this remarks it's almost certain that cleophas malala is actually admitting that his party leader Musalia Mudavadi and William Ruto do not command such kind of following in Kenya. What is Cleophas Malala's political objective here? That's what I want us to find out in this video. In case you've bumped here for the very first time, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. The first objective if you have been keenly following politics in Western, Raila's popularity is actually rising in Western, as William Ruto and Musala Mudavadi and any other leader supporting them declined. That is the reality of politics in Western as I talk right now. So Cleophas Malala has studied the ground and he knows exactly what might be happening on the ground. So Malala is trying to endear himself to Raila supporters in Western. And to endear himself to Raila supporters in Western is just say, stating that Raila is the only leader in Kenya with a true fanatical following. Yeah, with a true fanatical following. Cleophas Malala is just endearing himself to Raila supporters in Western who happens to be a majority. Because you know our politics sometimes is very funny. Malala just want vote, rather to be voted for by Raila supporters in Kakamega. And then secondly, Cleophas Malala is just stating the truth as it is. Because in Kenya today, we, all, we only have one leader who can actually say left and his supporters will say left. Right and his supporters will say, will go right. Just some few days ago, William Ruto issued some kind of a blanket order eh, to Boda Boda operators to actually storm police stations, demand back their money, and also their motorbikes. But that order was actually ignored. There was no storming of any police station anywhere. So you can see clearly that Raila's main competitor in this year's election, William Ruto just tried to test his political strength and that actually flopped. Because in our earlier video about some days ago, I did analyze that and just stated that William Ruto was just up to test, was William Ruto, by issuing that order, wanted to test his influence on his supporters. You know, some people can actually support you but they cannot actually go all the way to do exactly what you want them to do. But for Raila supporters, they have shown time and over that actually they can support Raila Molo Odinga politically and also do what Raila commands them to do, which is lacking with Raila's opponents or competitors in Kenya today. So it's a given fact. Cleophas Malala is just stating the truth as it is. Raila commands a fanatical support 
that no any other leader commands in Kenya today. And then again, if you largely look at Raila's rallies, they are almost being attended by thousands of Kenyans. But the ones who have actually been mobilized to attend those rallies, you'll actually find them a minority eh, in terms of attendance in those rallies. If you compare that to William Ruto's rallies, you might find that a majority of his, of those attending William Ruto's rallies, in one way or the other, they might be actually the ones who have actually been mobilized. And that is something that has also been proved in William Ruto's previous rallies. You will likely see William Ruto's rallies, people donning some branded merchandise, an indication that likely those are mobilized crowds or groups. And then another thing, Cleophas Malala, I think is also just admitting, though indirectly, that in this year's presidential election, Raila Odinga might actually be the president-elect, or rather Raila might actually win this year's presidential election. I'm seeing Cleophas Malala just trying to admit that, or rather to inform Kenyans of that. Because for him now to come out and to state that it's only Raila with the true fanatical support, then it, all, it only means that in terms of real votes, where now Kenyans will turn out on the ballot, or rather on the day of voting, we might actually find Raila's huge rallies, or rather huge attendance in his rallies, actually translating to votes during voting day, or rather on the voting day, but not of William Ruto or any other leader. So Malala here cleverly again is just telling Kenyans indirectly that we should actually expect Raila Molo Odinga as the, as the next president after Uhuru Kenyatta. And then finally, I'm also seeing a confused Cleophas Malala. And I'm saying confused because Malala is standing at a crossroad. He has actually been attacking Raila Molo Odinga. And because of that, he might be fighting some kind of a backlash from Raila supporters. And then the same Cleophas Malala is the person who is being seen to have pushed Musalia Mudabadi into joining William Ruto. And now that other side, that side of Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, things have actually backfired there. The ground has not moved with them to William Ruto. The ground has largely remained with Raila Molo Odinga. So I'm seeing a confused Cleophas Malala. And I'm saying confused because from where I see it, Malala must be going through a lot of pain because already he might be staring at a looming humiliation or rather a looming defeat in his quest for Kakamega gubernatorial seat. So that might be sending some confusion into Cleophas Malala. So remotely, I'm seeing a Cleophas Malala who might even be asking himself some questions, whether he, he, he is in the right political formation. I'm seeing a Cleophas Malala asking himself such kind of questions. And because anything is possible in politics, we might just find Cleophas Malala. Maybe as time goes by, he might even change his political allegiance to start supporting the side he feels or think the ground is actually supporting. That's also a possibility. And I'm saying that because it's, it's not easy for a leader to actually say what Cleophas Malala is saying here. Hmm? To actually indicate that you are the opponent, or rather your competitor, is actually the most popular, or rather enjoys a true fanatical support, that's in, that's in one way or the other. You are just admitting that is the darling or the chosen by the people. That's what I'm seeing here, ladies and gentlemen. Yes. And before I conclude, just as I did state when we were starting, in case you've bumped here, for the very first time, and so far you have not yet subscribed, kindly subscribe, give this video a like. And to our fans, our subscribers, in this YouTube channel, I'm very much humbled, very grateful for the kind of support you are giving me here. God bless you. 
God bless Kenya. Tamu sana, tamu sana, tamu sana.